Okay, so you've created your images, but when you tried lip syncing it, the result looked fake, broken, or unusable. This happens for 90% of the people that lip sync their videos. But I have been literally lip syncing any type of character or scene for the past months, and I created a simple and cheap workflow that turns any image into a natural lip synced video. And I'll show you how to use this workflow on hyper real humans, stylized characters, animated pets, and robots. Now, most lip sync attempts fail because people apply lip sync to unstable images or moving faces, not because the technology doesn't work. So I'm going to teach you all to avoid all the possible mistakes such as unstable start frames, unnecessary motion, and one-click lip sync tools. This gives you a clear, repeatable system to make any image talk naturally. For this workflow, I'm using Design AI since they have all the steps in one tool and have the best lip syncing model to make this work. This makes it effective and cheap. So if you want to follow along, the link is in the description. Now to make any image talk naturally, we need to start with the foundation, which is generating a stable front-facing image. For the best results, it's important that the face needs to be fully visible, centered, and facing the camera directly. I'll first show you the workflow for a hyper-realistic human. Open Design and from the home page, go to AI Tools and select Text to Image. In the Model section, then choose Nano Banana Pro. I set the output quality to 4K and the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Now for the prompt, you need to write a clear, detailed prompt about appearance, lighting, realism, and quality. This will set you up for success. So for example, my prompt is hyper-realistic American male reporter, early 30s, holding a handheld microphone, walking on a busy American city street, modern casual journalist outfit, confident and professional expression, natural daylight, urban background with buildings and pedestrians softly blurred, medium close-up framing, chest-up view, cinematic street photography, shallow depth of field, realistic skin texture, natural color grading, 8K clarity. I then click generate. Now you have the option to upscale, but only use the upscaling if the original image lacks clarity. If it already looks good, don't upscale. Unnecessary upscaling causes pastel texture, artificial smoothing, and reduced realism. Now, if you're working with stylized animated characters, the prompt changes slightly. For example, stylized cute young boy character, big expressive eyes, playful smile, cartoon proportions, bright colors, soft lighting, clean background, Pixar inspired style. For animated characters, strong stylization can sometimes reduce lip sync accuracy. So always ensure the character's face is fully visible, facing directly toward the camera with a clear view of the mouth area. Keeping the face large, centered, and well well lit helps the model generate cleaner lip movements. And if you're creating animated pets, use a prompt like this. 3D Disney style animated dog character, highly detailed and expressive eyes, soft realistic fur, playful and friendly personality, looking directly at the camera, joyful expression, cinematic soft lighting, vibrant yet natural colors, clean background, high quality 3D animation render, sharp and clear focus, premium Disney Pixar style. So now generate your image and save the result. Now the next decision is, do I need to create a video with my image and then lip sync it? Or can you go straight to lip syncing with the image? And the answer is if the image is a character with a neutral expression and a static pose, you can go straight to lip sync. But if the image first needs to turn into a video, then you need to generate a start frame video first. This gives the lip sync model motion data to work with. I'll show you both paths, but first let's do the path with just an image. So you skip the video generation step entirely and go straight from image to lip sync. Navigate to the lip sync section and select pick face image mode. Set the quality to 1080p and use the pro mode. In the audio panel, choose pick voice and select the voice tone, then choose a voice that matches the character's look. In my case, a calm, warm, or professional voice works best for this portrait style. Avoid overly animated or exaggerated voices. They create unnatural mouth movements on a still image. Type your script and click generate to create the voiceover audio. Add the portrait image to the timeline and then add the generated audio exactly underneath the image. Here's the rule that matters most. Make sure the image duration matches the audio duration. If the image is longer than the audio, the model will display unnatural silence after the speech ends. Then click generate. This image turned easily into this natural style of talking. Hello everyone. Today I'm here to share everything I've done walk you through my entire day. Now the same pick face image path also works for stylized animated characters. The process is identical. You select pick face image mode, set quality to 1080p and use pro mode. The difference is in voice selection. Choose a voice that matches the animated playful tone. Type the script, but use simple clear sentences for the best animation accuracy. Avoid extremely fast dialogue since animated characters may struggle with rapid phoneme changes. The lip sync quality on animated characters is slightly more challenging than realistic humans. But when the face is properly positioned and the voice matches the character style, the results are clean. Hi everyone, I'm 
really excited to be here today, and I can't wait to tell you all about the fun things I've been doing. Now let's move to the video generation path. This is required when you want to have more control and turn your images into lip synced videos with motion or multiple scenes. Go to AI video and upload the image as the start frame. Now within the video prompt, you need to lock the camera, eliminate lip movement and allow subtle body movement. For my realistic human video, I chose the model Minimax Halo 2.3 and set the quality to 768p for making the video 10 seconds. I then add the image and use the following video prompt, hyper realistic video of an American reporter walking forward on a real American city street while speaking directly to the camera. The reporter holds a microphone and maintains steady eye contact. The camera moves backward at the same speed as the reporter, keeping a consistent medium close-up framing. Smooth handheld style stabilization, natural walking motion, realistic street activity in the background, no sudden camera moves, no zoom, only continuous backward tracking shot, daylight cinematic realism. The aspect ratio will auto match the start frame, set duration to 10 seconds for more lip sync flexibility, click generate and wait for the video to finish. Now, if you're working with animated pets, you can create multi-scene storytelling using VO 3.1 fast. Set duration to eight seconds and 1080p quality. Your prompt would focus on the pet walking slowly toward the camera while maintaining direct eye contact with the camera moving backward at the same steady speed. No sudden movements, no jumping, just smooth, calm animation with the pet centered in frame. For a character such as a robot, choose Kling 2.5 Turbo and set duration to eight seconds. Robots should move slowly, smoothly, and predictably. This reduces lip sync errors and improves realism. Your prompt should keep the robot facing the camera with minimal natural micro motions. Sci-fi lighting like neon holograms and energy cores helps emphasize the robot's reflective surfaces. This is where you see the difference. The video gives Gives you a stable neutral face with no competing motion neutral start frame videos always produce the best lip sync accuracy now go to the lip sync section in design for pets and multi-scene videos created with veo 3.1 fast scroll below the player after generation you will see a lip sync button click it and you'll be taken directly to the lip sync interface for all other videos click upload a face video and upload the video you just generated set the output quality to 1080p and generation mode to pro under upload an audio, you have two options. Upload your own audio file or use upload audio. For the best results, use clean, high quality audio. For animated pets, pick a short dialogue that matches the pet's cheerful personality. Select an energetic voice, ensure the audio length does not exceed the video duration. Upload the audio to the video timeline and position the audio at the correct time within the clip. Here's the critical rule. Ensure the audio length does not exceed the video duration. If the audio starts too early or too late, the lip sync will drift. If lip motion appears slightly off, shift the audio track left or right a little and regenerate. Click generate and you can now download the finished video. As you can see, the result is clean and natural and the face moves in sync with the audio. Hey there, <laughs> these are my friends and we love spending time together playing and having fun every day. If you want to use design yourself, then you find the link in the description. The same preparation system worked across humans, animation, pets, and robots. The difference between clean results and broken outputs comes down to one thing. Stable facial geometry before lip sync is applied. I've tested over 10 different AI lip sync pipelines this year, and this workflow inside design is the most consistent. Bad results don't come from bad technology. They come from skipping preparation steps. You don't need expensive subscriptions or multiple tools to get professional looking lip sync. You just need the right system. Once you generate your first clean Clean lip sync, you'll realize you don't need a studio, a big team, or guesswork. You just need a controlled workflow. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.